Yo, what is going on guys? Mr. T-Boy here and welcome to Greenland, a brand new adventure for Farmer T-Boy. Uh, so here we are at the, the pigsty. It's a roadside farm, I believe is the name of this, uh, this particular plot of land. Um, I've gone for this, I kind of like its location. You get a nice pigsty, a silo, plenty of storage. You get two fields um, with it. It costs 295 grand, so it's a big chunk of money, but we've gone for this. Um, quite happy with a place you'll see me purchase it in a minute but guys before we get too far in take a moment smash that thumbs up button for me uh if you're not yet subscribed consider doing so and you can also turn on your notification bell to be notified every time i post a video also don't forget check in the description down below there are a few links over to the giants uh website if you want to purchase anything from there you use code table at checkout or just use the link below it really helped me out a whole heap uh, so I pause the game here while I'm just checking a couple of things out. Uh, we purchase the land. Let's go and check on the status of the fields. Uh, so I do believe we've got grass in both. This one appears to be ready to harvest. It is, it is, nice, okay. So we've only got 220,000 pounds to play with. This is the other field that you get with it. So you get two, two decent sized fields for sure. That is still growing, but we see above that is um, another field with wheat on it and it is ready to harvest. So I go ahead right off the bat, three fields, no equipment. Is this a wise move? I do not know. We shall find out. Uh, so now guys, we need to go ahead and obviously get something to get rid of, uh, not get rid of, to harvest the, uh, the field that's ready, the wheat. So, uh, looked in the sale items not a lot going on there we go here and we always pick the new holland uh it featured in fs19 almost every time we played the game nice and cheap uh but it will do the job for sure everything has to be cheap at the moment because money is going to be extremely tight so we're going to bang the header on there as well more money spent and now we need to uh, at some point get a tractor and a trailer but first of all Let's get this little beast back to the uh, to the field. It's quite annoying. I think the header has actually fallen over upon purchasing it, so we have to kind of scoop it up and tip it over. Here we go. He gently does it, and get on. So yeah, this is Greenland's. Uh, it is a fictional farm set in the UK. Uh, it's got. I think a hundred fields. It's uh, yeah, it's very cool. There's a massive plot in the middle that's like eight hundred thousand pounds. That's got all the farm, uh, all the uh, animal pens, and like it's just a crazy, crazy farm. I'd love to be able to own that one day. Um, but yeah, loads of cool stuff on here. Lots of fields. Traffic is a bit of a nightmare. Not a, not a fan of the AI traffic. But yeah, overall I'm quite happy with the map, uh, that's why I've decided to, to try and make a series on it. Start from scratch, obviously, and uh, we'll see how we get on, guys. So obviously you got to get out, shut the gate, be respectful to the store owner, and now let's have a little uh, little trip through the main hub of the village. Welcome to Greenlands. How quaint. Nice little houses here. I wonder if there's collectibles on this map too. I'm not even uh, not even thought about that. I've not really had a look for them yet. A little beep then, as he was uh, he was quite close to me. And that's a little church there on the left too. It's quite pretty. Uh, we've got Duna's corner store and a little petrol station just up here too. And I think uh, a little cafe there as well if you want to get yourself a, a nice bacon sandwich and a coffee before you start the day. Perfect place to go. So we're just coming up now, we're going to be passing a grain mill on the left hand side. Uh, there's a sawmill further along the way. Um, so it's, it's pretty, it's got a bit of everything. There's a few nice plots of land you can buy with storage or, or a couple of buildings. Uh, lots of the fields I did struggle to navigate. As you can see there is a lot and some of them are hard to work out how you actually access them for the best. You got some that have got double gates like that, and then some that have got single gates leading on to other fields. These types of machineries don't fit through the single gates, uh, so you've got to make sure you find the right access to the field. 
but yeah, it's a, it's a fair drive to the farm. Squeeze over this little bridge here. But yeah, quite excited for this series. Um, it's, I've got a pig farm, a pig sty. Never worked with pigs before, so this could be uh, could be exciting. Another new adventure. I've got cows on calms and farms. This series. Um, I shall link that in the description down below somewhere as well. But yeah, I got a little cow farm on that one. We we'll do a little piggy farm on this one. Oh, that's the plan anyway. Much more to learn. Uphill, the uh, the old New Holland doesn't quite like it. She pulls through though, she pulls through. It's a beast. So I can just see in the distance my wonderful, wonderful farm. So I like that the uh, the actual farm's got a double gate entrance here, and then where the uh, the house is, there is another entrance. Uh, you could park a car out right there, I suppose. But yeah, for the money, I mean, it is a lot of money, but you do get quite a lot of good stuff. Plenty of storage, uh, silo, pigsty. There we go. Wave at the wife in the house. I was contemplating where to actually go in, and then I believe there's a gate up ahead. Yeah, it leads me through a different field to be able to get to this one. So just having to drive past my field at the moment, just to to come back on myself to get to it. But it's the uh, the only way to access this field. Um, for a combine anyway, you can fit a track through the other side, uh, through the small gates. For this big large beast, we have to go through this way. So let's get out, open the gate. And some tall corn, as you can see, uh, I've caused a bit of a bit of a backup of traffic. He's beeping at me, no one's happy. Um, yeah, unlucky. That's life. In we go, or attempt to at least. Uh, panicked a little bit there, so I've made the, the traffic wait even longer. I'm sure they're going to love me for that. So entering the cornfield, cannot see a thing. Just about spot a gate in front of me. I'm like, oh, okay. So we jump out, shut this gate. And this is my field. Welcome. Open the gate, we do um, nudge the uh, combine slightly there with the gate, but it's all good. In we go. Time to start working on the field. So we're going to go around the outskirts first, uh, give me a little bit more room to work with, then we're going to do it up and downs in, uh, in rows. So let's get to work guys. First bit of actual farming of the series. So I think, yeah, I'm going to get out and uh, go close the gate because I'm a, I'm a good boy like that. So off we go. Let's go and get this farm, uh, this farm, this field harvested. We'll be able to sell some wheat, uh, some grain, and also get some straw off it, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to need for the pigs. I'm just guessing. I'm clutching at straw, you could say. That was a bit of a terrible pun, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if, if I do need straw bales. I'm pretty sure I would for bedding. But guys, yeah, we'll time lapse this and I'll cut back to you guys when it's full and we uh, we end up going to fetch ourselves a little tractor. Okay.
So just coming up to uh, a full harvester. So we're going to go ahead and decide on what tractor and trailer we're going to have to purchase. 97% now, so we're nearly full. 98. Here we go. So as the shop is quite a distance to walk, um, I do unfortunately have to sort of jump to the shop and stuff. Maybe when I've got a bit more money, I can have a vehicle to go to the shop to uh, with and, and stuff like that. But for now, we just have to do the old cut to the shop kind of thing. Uh, got to find ourselves a nice cheap tractor. I was looking in this for sales, like hoping and praying. Got on medium tractors, uh, quickly realized this is way, way, way out of my price range. Um, yeah, go back onto small. I mean, could have had that. Maybe it would have been a good purchase, but it is, uh, it is most of my budget. So small tractors, I was tempted to go for this uh, this little old school beast here, uh, under 10 grand. But is it going to do what I need it to do? I'm not sure it would. So this again is quite tempted, uh, quite a few. I'm just basically looking at the prices uh, is what's tempted me. I don't have a lot of money to play with. And I'm thinking all I'm going to need this for at the moment is transporting a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of product to and from so again we're just looking through uh, we do settle on one in a moment but there was lots of choices lots that did pique my interest a lovely old Ford there it's a very cool tractor I like the Fiat as well it's a, a decent tractor I can't quite afford that uh, but I do see this John Deere 15 and a half grand Miss 6300 and then this one is uh, 5,000 pound more but couldn't actually see any difference in in the uh, the tractor apart from the price so obviously go for the cheaper one but yeah now we got to the end that is what we uh, we set on little John Deere nice little tractor let's customize it we are going to add a front loader uh, a front loader attachment to it uh, just in case we need to do some stuff in the future. I put a little bell spike on it and move some stuff around. I don't mind as well just purchase that now. Engine, do we upgrade that one more? I think we might spend a little bit more, yeah. It's a cool looking tractor though, I do like it. So yeah, we add another 2100 to upgrade the engine slightly. Give it a bit more oomph. And we go ahead and buy. Money is dwindling. Money is dwindling indeed. Uh, so we've got 37 grand left and we need a trailer. Lots of options again in here. And see when I add mods to the game I just literally I just go through and see what's popular. I don't actually ever uh, install a mod looking for what will be the cheapest item. Um, I just kind of add stuff that I think is cool or is popular at the time. Now, if you've got a mod and it's like a, a whole tractor and it's priced at a pound, I'll be like, uh, no, thank you. That's uh, that's not very realistic. So I usually go for those strout Stroutmans there on the end. I usually have one of those uh, and upgrade the capacity of it. But that little red one that I seen just a moment ago really uh, interested me. So we end up going back to that. It's one that I've not um, not purchased before. So something new. So you're looking at this one again, seeing how much capacity we get if we upgrade it slightly, and then uh, this, where is it? No, seeing how much capacity we get on here as well, that's what I was doing. Uh, but no, the little red one, it holds so, so much, and it's a decent price as well. I quite like that little one as a bale trader, that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, we, we end up going with the, I don't even know the brand of it to be honest. Where is it now? It's uh, it's up here somewhere. That one, Oracle. There we go, it's Oracle. Capacity. If we add that on, it's 18,000 litres. And, uh, well, so it's 13 grand. So it's, it's a lot more capacity for, for a little bit more money. So yeah, we went with that. It's kind of cool looking too. So now we've got a good, it's time to hop to the shop. 
get in the new whip and hook up the trailer. Nice raspy uh, little engine from the old school John Deere. We'd love to see it. Went a bit too far forward there, but we're on now, we're attached, and we're good to go. There is going to be some issues later on when I uh, get some weight in the back of that trailer and try and pull that along, but we'll get to that. <laughs> I think I was a bit far away from the gate there. I'd like to give myself a walk here, yeah, having a little look, admiring our beautiful purchase. Trying to pull out of here can be an absolute nightmare. The traffic can come zooming down this hill. But we do it. Unscathed. Let's go. Uh, the tractor matches my overalls as well. Looking like an absolute weapon right now. Uh, so yeah, time to jump back in. Head back up to the farm. Get this bad boy emptied. So he's 20 mile an hour, she's not too bad. Bargain for the money I think, and we need to do uh, everything as cheap as possible at the moment. It's going to be a hard slog. Uh, if I can even stay afloat, we're, we're going to find out in the next couple of episodes. It's going to be tough. I still have a lot of things I need to purchase and not much money left, so... Will we go bankrupt? How many episodes will I get out of this series before I uh, sink or swim? Who knows? But I'm interested to give it a good go anyway. Quite happy with the map. I'm having lots of fun uh, on this episode. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Have you tried out this map yet? If so, what's your thoughts? Or if you haven't, do you fancy now you've seen me play it? Okay, back over the little bridge. Gonna struggle with this hill, you can just tell. But we make it, we make it. So I think I'm gonna try and record this um, this series as in, in days, so this will be day one. So when it gets to a certain time at night, that'll be it. I'll put my stuff away, I'll go to bed, and the next episode will start in the morning when I wake up on day two. Uh, I think that'd be a cool way to do it. So I don't know whether to t uh, change the time scale down to one, so it's almost like real time, and then uh, I can just end it when I've sort of finished a particular job, if I've finished a field or I could leave it as it is and just when it gets to a certain time of night just uh, off to bed we go I'll, I'll work around but I'm going to do it in days anyway so it's going to be day one and so on and so forth so we're back at the farm we're going to go in through uh, the farm entrance this time brakes are a little sharp there we go, hop out, let's get these gates open. Cringe at the amount of traffic stuck behind again. That's why I'm not too too much of a fan of the AI traffic, because I don't think they add too much to the game apart from a nuisance. They drive like donuts. I mean I suppose it is kinda cool to see traffic going by and stuff, but yeah, they can be a pain in the ass. But uh they're on there. We just have to forget about them. I'm gonna hold you up guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this is the uh, other entrance you can get into this field from. There's a double gate here, but to get into the next field uh, is only a single gate, I believe. So no combine going through there. But yeah, in we go. I do kind of drive around the outside of this field because I'm not sure if I damage the grass driving over it. I, I, I don't know. But I thought it was a bit nicer than just ploughing straight over the top of everything. So we're in and 
of course, shut the gate. We like shutting gates on this game, we like it. But I actually grew up in the uh, countryside in Shropshire and surrounded by farms and fields and stuff, so if ever you was walking through a farmer's field, always close the gate because you don't know what's in there. It could be uh, livestock that could get out. It's just a respectful thing to do, so I think that's why I, I like to I like to keep the gate shut behind me. So here we are. So I'm quite happy with the purchase though. The land you get, the two fields are really good. Uh, I could change one from grass to something else in the future as well. And then we've got this big field here. So as long as I can stay afloat, I think we will survive. But, um, we'll see. So yeah, it's got my trailer stuck on the fence post there, or the gate post. A little maneuver to the left, and we're in. So now we go and get your pipe out. Woohoo! Yeah, turn the engine on, pipe out. Here we go. Hit the right button. Now let's get this uh, this harvester emptied so we can continue our day. So I'm not sure how long the episodes will end up being. Um, I try and obviously make them as short as possible with time lapses and stuff. But there we go. We're getting filled up. Beautiful stuff. Okay, thirty odd percent of the trailer full off one load, nice. So we're gonna pop this up out of the way pop back in the harvester um, go ahead and finish off the field and we go a little sprint on then go and uh, shut the gate and back we go hop in continue the time lapse catch up with you guys in a minute Right, coming up to a, another full load. Trying to uh, hop out, get the, the tractor and trailer over here. Fill her back up. Fill her back up, I mean empty. That's what I'm doing, I'm not filling it up. I've just done that. You're so dumb sometimes. 
we filled a trailer up, that's what we're about. There we go, so I'm going to have a quick sprint round. Here we go. Get my jogging shoes on. We are fast, look at us go. So I did uh, destroy a little bit of my crops in the process. Only a little bit though, I think I've done quite well so far. We do have some nice lines going on in this field, but it kind of, I don't know, maybe the way the, way the field flows, it just makes me... Uh, Makes me veer off in certain places. I don't know what that is. I don't know why I just don't do perfectly straight lines, but uh, I think I just feel in the field. And it makes me want to curve, and I don't know. See, it's relatively straight here, but then the other side, it kind of makes me come up and round. I think it's uh, the shape of the field that's making it do that. Or it could just be me. It's more than likely it is just me. So yeah, as we get to the top of the field, I start to bend round. Um, I don't know. So I get underneath, let that do its thing. We chilling while it's filling. Is it going to be around eighty percent? Uh, full after this particular load. Oh, is that 60? I can't quite see. Um, my eyesight is horrendous. But yeah, another load done. I'm going to park up out the way. Probably went a bit too far out the way, to be honest. I'd like to give myself some uh, some walking to do, that's for sure. But yeah. Engine off, out we get. Look like the tyres were starting to uh, bulge on the uh, the trailer with the weight that's in there. But yeah, let's jump back in, guys. You know what we're going to do? We're going to continue that little time. Let's get another um, another chunk of this field complete. We might even finish it off in this run. Um, we'll see. But yeah, let's uh, speed it up, guys. I'll catch you very soon. Okay, we did uh, squash some crops then as uh, the harvester filled up and we didn't quite realise. We, we run over a couple, nothing, nothing too bad. Uh, another little sprint Ryan then to pick up the, the tractor. The field is nearly complete, we are, we are making some sort of progress. It's, it's bigger than I actually uh, first thought. Yeah, those are the, uh, the curves I've just gone past. Don't know why I started to curve so much. Uh, but yeah, hop in, empty this harvester one more time. On reflection, I should have probably took the trailer now uh, and dropped this off. But instead I filled it up, forgetting the fact that my tractor is uh, not got the most amount of horsepower. So, 
Yeah, bit of a mistake there. We, we, we won't overload in the future. It's lapse of concentration, I think. But uh, it survives it anyway, that's the main thing. So I thought I'd already put my pipe out, um, I hadn't. So we've just got to jump from vehicle to vehicle again, which is quite annoying. There we go, back in we get. Get your pipe out, buddy. Don't go forward. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. So yeah, pipe's out. Oh, hello. Looks like some sugar puffs in the back there. Nice. Okay, eight you get. You gotta move forward a little bit, buddy. It's gonna be spilling all over the floor. There we go. Beautiful. So yeah, next time I won't be filling this up the whole way. Definitely not a wise move. Because uh, the journey we're about to go on, I'm going to skip most of it because it is quite painful to watch. But uh, we are trundling along at a very, very slow speed. And at one point we do come to a large uphill on the way to the shop. And it's, yeah, it's quite painful. It takes quite a long time for us to get up there. So, uh, yeah, it could be bad. Oh, no, I don't think we're quite full. I think we wait till we fill it up, which is even more of a stupid idea. Of course, it's heavy enough. Let's make it heavier. But, yeah, I think what I was aiming to do is actually uh, get the field complete before I actually go and take anything over to the shop to sell. Um, or, the, I don't know where I sell it, the grain store? But then after doing this a lot, I realized that I own a silo, so there was no need for me to rush to sell it. I could have just stored it in there. Um, I used to have a silo on my farm, so that was a bit of a dumb move. Uh, sometimes you learn from your mistakes, sometimes you don't. Quite often I don't. <laughs> but no, um, next time we'll, uh, we'll, we'll remember that, we'll get that sorted. So we'll go speed up, get rid of this, uh, the rest of this field. And uh, we can move on to something else. There we have it, first harvest of the field complete. Um, obviously we're going to want to try and get a baler and come and get some little bales out of this field too. That is the plan. I don't know if I can afford a baler yet or if I can after I've sold this, uh, this grain. But either way, that's, uh, that's our aim. Most of that looks like it's going back on the floor, so we'll uh, reverse back a little bit make sure it's going in it looks extremely full it is now 100 percent i've still got a bit left in my harvester but it's time to go make the drop and this is that horrible journey um it's not terrible but you i'm trundling along at like 10 mile an hour or so uh, and, a, and a bit less at times uh it's not ideal i was gonna go and contemplate opening the gate but i decided to to drive up to open the gate so as you can see, yeah, she doesn't want to move too fast. That's my own stupid fault. I do apologize, Tractor, for putting you through this. But, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you overfill your trailer. 
So we're there, we can move, that's the main thing. Try to drive around the outside of the field again. I've got to get out, shut my gate. And off we go. We are going to check the prices here in a second. See where is best. But I am quite annoyed that I didn't think about it. I even drive past the silo, but I'm quite annoyed I didn't think about that. So you've got BJ Grain and Grain Mill. That's currently £2 more. So that's where we tag and that's where we end up going. But yeah, I literally drive right past my silo in a second. I could have waited uh, for better prices and could have made a bit more money off this but um never mind we do still have a little bit left in our harvester so maybe i'll store that in there in the uh in the next part again not sure what the hold up is here uh, i think i couldn't open the door got a bit jammed maybe so let's get that open drive past this giant silo that I don't see or even consider using. Can you tell I'm kicking myself for that one? Uh, but never mind. We are all good. We do make some money back off this so it's not a total loss. Look I even bought... Oh don't. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. There's no silo there. No one's seen it. Get in your tractor and drive on. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, the tedious drive, so what I'm going to do is I will cut now to the uh, the grain mill where I sell it and then cut again back when we're, we're almost home. A lovely little twirl, and as if by magic, we are here. Green side BGA plant. Let's get the gates open, go and drop off this product. Make a little sale. Bump up the cash a little bit. Every little is going to help in this uh, this playthrough. Especially starting out. Start the game can be brutal. Any little mistakes you make can be costly. So we'll see if uh, if I have made a catastrophic error or we will survive. But yeah, let's drop this off. The money's ticking up for a full load. What do we get? I think it's around five five grand. So not amazing, but it's better than a kick in your teeth. That's for sure. Not quite made 30k, but yeah, just over five grand for that. So, uh, with the other bit in there, it probably would take me to the, the 30,000 mark, which is it's not too shabby. I think I can get a mower for that and uh, a baler. Hopefully, I need what I need now is a mower, a tether, and a baler. That's going to be tough, uh, but we'll see what we can do, guys. If we have to lease one for the time being, we'll, we'll work it out. But anyway, I'll cut back to you guys when we are back at home. So here we are, back at Roadside Farm. Home sweet home. Uh, money a little bit more in our pockets now, just a little bit. After our trip to the, uh, the grain mill. So I think we're going to go ahead over now, get the rest of the uh, grain out of the combine. For what reason I don't know, I could have stored it in there. But yeah, not, much, uh, not too much more to report at the moment. Um, in this episode it's currently quarter to three uh, in the, the afternoon. So we, we've made some good progress for the day. Zoom in over. Um, so all that happens now is I empty this and then I go and try and park up my machinery. Uh, this is where I find out that the combine doesn't fit through this gate. I'm not going to show you that though because it's just me crashing into a fence post and then having to turn back and go out the, uh, out the way I came in. So yeah, we'll empty this and then we'll and then we'll get to the uh, towards the end of the video, guys.
Okay, so we can cut back here. I've seen the uh, you see I've parked the, the tractor and trailer up in here, just parking the combine away as well. Uh, I wanted to try and do, like I said before, each day on the farm is one episode, but uh, this has been over two hours of footage, and I've managed to get it down to 42 minutes, which is still quite long for a video. Uh, so looks like we're going to have to do it a different way and just just do what we can in one episode. Uh, let me know your let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below, guys. See what you uh, what you want to see. Okay, I can keep it the full length or even longer, but I'd rather them be a bit shorter. But anyway, thanks for watching. Next episode coming soon. Have a great day. Peace out.